name is Ellie Coquel. I'm an occupational therapist working in paediatrics. I work as a part of the Evelina Children's Hospital in their community team. Um, I carry a mixed caseload of 0 to 19 with a range of different disabilities. I also work in two special needs schools, one for children with autism and one for children with multiple and profound learning difficulties and physical disabilities. So my name's Austin and I'm currently on the prestigious DARSI Fellowship working for out of hospital strategy for discharge to assess. Hello, I'm Roseanne, I'm an occupational therapist and I'm working with Kent County Council at the moment in the enablement service and also as a research assistant with Christchurch University. I'm Sarah Jane and I graduated from Canterbury Christchurch in 2007. I um, graduated in occupational therapy and um, for nine years I worked within um, acute physical adult uh, hospitals in a range of different rehab settings and I now work as a lecturer in occupational therapy at a university in London. So the course gave me a background in sort of the practical applications of occupational therapy as well as the theoretical processes that, that go behind it and that really helped with the transition from student into practitioner and the diversity of who I learned with but also who was teaching me really enriched the learnings of what occupational therapy is. It was a really good course, it was really varied so there was lots of different elements to it. There was the teaching side of it and there was the placement side of it so we had a nice variety of placements, went up to London for a few of them. So I feel the training here at Canterbury prepared me for um, a career as an occupational therapist. We completed placements in a range of different settings, so I got um, exposure to lots of different practice areas, which gave me, gave me a bit of an idea of um, the type of area I might like to work within. The taught sessions were really useful as well um, to help me when actually out on placement. The personal tutors were really supportive um, and generally the lecturers were very interested in us and uh, very supportive throughout the whole of the course. I feel that the course helped me in regards to the practice placements. I particularly remember in my final year having a role emerging placement which was based in a school for children with moderate learning difficulties. There had been no previous OT or current OT provision into the school so it was a good opportunity to develop some self-advocacy and independence um, as a future practitioner. I remember my time at Canterbury Christ Church with great fondness but on reflection I don't think that I used the facilities and the opportunities to my greatest advantage so I would kind of give the advice to really really engage with what's on offer, not just on the course, but also what the university is offering. And for example, the student union and all the different faculties and societies that are available. I recommend for anyone um, considering a career in occupational therapy at Canterbury, do um, try and make the most out of the teaching sessions that you have and the support that's available from the university. And really try and um, get the most out of your practice placements to prepare you when you um, qualify as a newly qualified occupational therapist. I would say to anyone to really enjoy your time at university. The three years goes by in a flash. You'll never have those student days again. I really enjoyed my time here. But if I was to go back and do it again, I'd definitely make use of having those lectures on site all the time to ask any questions, to have those times in placement again and have the practice educators before you're thrown into the work environment and expect it really to just get, get on with it to a certain extent. For anyone considering going into OT as a career, I would say go for it. I would say it's a profession that's really up and coming. You can go into physical and mental health which is really unique to its profession. I think the awareness of occupational therapy and what it can do in a variety of settings is ever growing and ever evolving. And I think it's an exciting time.